all right guys so i want to configure auto fs that's auto fs is a is a way of uh, uh making sure that uh, a local machine can auto uh, can automatically mount to a file system that is in a remote machine so i have a server that i've configured a network file system on it already so if i do show mount dash a and put the ip address of the server that has the mount i let me do one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one one seven all right so i have exported a file system uh, i've exported a share from the server and that share is nfs underscore share okay so we want to set up our computer to automatically mount to it so um in order to do that we have to first of all install the auto fs package so i will do the nf install auto fs okay I will say yes and allow the package to install so this installation is going to generate the files that we need in order to do this configuration so I will vi into it's a auto dot mount no, not mount master Okay, auto master. Right. I'm just going to comment this this part of and put an entry there. So I will put uh, where do I mount want to mount my file system. Um, let me just call it repo and the configuration file is gonna still be it's auto dot disk the same file and i'm going to put a timeout value of 100 seconds so if the file system is not being used for 100 seconds it's going to automatically unmount okay so i will uh, save and quit and then i will move into the auto missed file and add an entry there mm, i'm just gonna call it repo in small letters fs type is uh, nfs and the file system that we want to mount is located at 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one one seven and the f the the directory is mfs underscore share okay so i will save that and quit and all we need to do right now is start the auto fs service so i'll do system ctl enable auto fs it's been enabled so now i will start it so that's just to make sure that it starts up a book when we reboot our machine now for this session of my machine i'm gonna start it 
Okay, so I'm gonna run this my home folder and there you have the repo directory that has been created by our configuration. So if I move into that repo, Uh, directory and long and list the content I don't see anything however there is a hidden folder in there and it's only hidden to me because it is mounted to an external file system so if I move again into repo you see the little delay that is the file system being mounted df dash h you see our file system has been mounted okay so the repo with small letters is under the repo with big letters the repo with capital letters is uh, what we set up in the uh, auto master file and the repo with small letters is what we set up in the auto.misc file okay so guys that is how you configure auto fs in red hat uh, enterprise linux 8 and it's the same method for uh, practically all linux uh, all linux uh, operating systems thank you for watching god bless you